everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Dragonair Silent Gods. For today's video, I'm gonna do my Heliolite Dies summons to hit that 80 mark for this event. Luckily, I had a jump start at the beginning of the season because this is my season zero account. So let's have some fun and see what we get. Alright, and just a heads up, guys, I do have a live stream on Twitch tonight starting 5 p.m. UTC. That's Wednesday the 11th I'm talking about, but I should be streaming every Wednesday. So that, that's the plan unless I need to cancel. I am struggling a bit. I am pregnant and, well, um, my body's not liked me the past couple of days and I really struggled yesterday and today. But I'm trying my best. We're going to do our best. I might not have as much energy as usual, but I'm sure going to try. And yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to today's stream, though, because for the sake of the Starlight Challenge in my other account, that's what I'll be playing live. And I'm going to be announcing the next set of missions for people to try to achieve that are participating in the Starlight Challenge. But if you're not participating in the Starlight Challenge and you want to win some Heliolite die, there's going to be a special giveaway going on as well uh, during the live stream and related to the live stream. So you'll have to come join me to find out how to enter and what that's all about. Um, but yeah, I'm on my season zero account, as I always call it. Uh, so this is like a season two for me, hence a crap ton of worm arrow that got transferred from the season settlement, uh, which is how I got my total here. I added, I had like eight extra from since doing 54. Um, and now we're going to push to get that 80. And I'm really curious to see what my double legend hero is going to be. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I could use the essence of creation, honestly, just to level up some artifacts. Which is why I decided not to wait like five more days to the last minute for no reason. Because if I do, I'm probably going to forget about it anyway. All right, and I do want to show you guys in the future events. So if you close this and you go to your events, upcoming events, you're going to see Heliolite aggregation. The exact same picture, the exact same thing. This is the same thing um, hitting, I'm assuming it's going to be hitting 80 again. Uh, wield Heliolite die, win rewards. You could enter a corresponding summoning page, blah, blah, blah. Extra rewards can be claimed after performing a certain number of summons. I think it's going to be 80 unless they're be hopefully they're being nicer and not making it 80 every month. But it looks like every month we're going to have a new one of those pop, which is really cool because that gives people a chance to save some. Um, like at least if you're season zero, I would not save all your Heliolite die until you hit 80 just for a bonus and not pull anything all season. That's going to make your progress pretty slow and you can have some fun. Unless you want to do like me and do the Starlight Challenge. That's another story. But... Yeah, I'm really um, glad that they added these. I'm hoping that they're going to be a little more generous. But even if they are 80, at least people have the choice to spend a little, save some, whatever, and not have to pull them all at once. I don't know if they're going to carry over. Like right now, if I have 54 and I want to wait until the next event, am I still going to have 54 out of 80? I don't know. I don't think so. But when we look at this, uh, when it comes to summoning, keep in mind, guys, the banners have separate pities. So like this banner is separate than this banner for pity. But because this Echoes of Other Worlds slash aggregate, whatever summoning event that was called, is on the standard banner, I think the pity should always stay the same. As far as pity, I mean, behind me here, there's a spot to click. Um, your 35th attempt guarantees a hero. Guaranteed, no questions asked, 35. But if you go from one banner to another, you split your, you know, if you pull 34 here, then one here, you're not guaranteed a hero. It doesn't work that way, or that would be teasing the system. So that's why they do it. But all right, let me just quickly show you what I have so far. And then we're going to get into these summons. I'm probably going to do all single pulls because we don't have that many. It's not that exciting without with just doing a few five pulls and then we're done. Well, maybe I'll do a couple five pulls and then we'll end with singles. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll fill it out. But yeah, so far for my legendaries, I do have... My wild team is my focus, of course. Flora is a queen. I would love to get a dupe Flora just for her artifact because she's insane with her artifact. Um, but yeah, I do have like Arzillas, who I could build a summoner team with. 
And I love Zarloth. He doesn't need to be with summons, but my god, I can't wait to use him more. I'm using him a little bit now, which is fun. I do have Sutha, but no other Dauntless, really, so that was okay. meh. And I don't love Durango, um, and a Poison team could be something fun to play with, but I don't have that kind of gear right now. It's just too hard. So I'm kind of looking for some game changers, I guess. I have Elfie that I want to add into my gear, uh, sorry, Vortex run. I want to want to add Elfie for the sake of Vortex instead of Erich, maybe. We'll see. Um, but I don't know. Like, I'm still debating. Uh, or maybe instead of a, no, I wish I could do instead of a healer, but we really need, I don't know that Fruboss can heal him by himself. And we want to make sure we keep the decreased attack up. So that's a debate. But I don't have Garius. Um, I don't, there's a lot of wonderful new epics that I don't have yet that I would really love to have on my account. I'm just finally starting to get some good legendary gear, slowly but surely. It's only on a couple people, but we're trying. And I'm looking forward to these summons so I could also get some more artifacts and have them leveled up. But all right, we talked for a bit. I kind of wanted to intro. As always, guys, I never just roll straight into summons unless I'm just showing a live stream highlight or something because we have some things to talk about. And I want to make sure you guys are making smart decisions with your summons too. But I'm really excited for this. So you know what? Let me do a couple five pulls and then we'll do some singles. Let's see what we get. I don't have the, ex the dramatic music on right now, but that's okay. I just got Dane recently for the first time. So that's my epic. Okay. Dupe. Let's do another. Let's do one more five full. Ah, epics. Okay, they're going to save the drama for later. A dupe for Ash. If I have that for my free to play, that would be great. Irina, Garana. What? Three great heroes. Meh. And good again. Okay, that's a nice, very, very nice set of heroes there. All right, do I want to... All right, ah, one more five pull, and then we're going to do the rest as singles. We got to draw out that final one, right? We have to make that exciting. Okay, so yeah, they're not giving me a Lego. They're not being very generous right now. Another Irina. This account just likes Irina. Hey, Vikuk! So this is so good. I'm so excited for him. His passive, whenever, when this hero is inflicted with a debuff, there's a 100% chance of placing accuracy penalty 2 on the debuff caster for 5 seconds. That's so good. So good. Oh my god, I love him. I'm so excited. And we have the attack penalty 2 with a 100% chance to place it when it's booked. And dispelling 2 debuffs from all allies and healing them. He is so good. He's 100% going to bump to the top of my list of who I build next. He's going to make so much, e so many things in content easier. Um, especially like if I have to push my Grave of Rot a little bit. There's a, there's a set or two I might want to try to get from not Grave of Venom for some characters. So we'll see. All right, I'm very happy with that. That counts as a legendary in my eyes. Because honestly, it's probably better than a lot of the legendaries I could pull. All right, and we're at 69 out of 80, so let's go ahead. Let's draw it out with some single pull drama. Rare, boom. Summon again. We don't want rares. We don't want rares. I've got almost every rare. I think I have every rare in the game, actually, on this account now. Because I did get Sigrid, who I was waiting on. I'm going to have to check. I think I have every rare in the game on this Season 0 account. Obviously, I did from last season. Okay. I already have him. He was actually used in a lot of endgame teams last season for some of the dungeons. So that was interesting to see. All right. They just don't want us to get any extra gold today. They're going to make us wait, aren't they? We are not popping much gold today. That's really, really unfortunate. All right, six to go. Usually I get so lucky and get a couple within like, you know, it's like every other five bowl feels like gold sometimes. It gets really lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, he's new. Shook. Shook is new for me as well. So oh, he's got the ultimate energy boost. Yeah. 
attack penalty too and recharge penalty oh he's good he's good okay so if i go lightning which i do i want to use irena in content she's really good although he's probably the better version of her technically i wouldn't need irena honestly but if i do want to go lightning and i don't want to go dauntless i would probably get him involved he's got a really good kit what are we gonna get what are we gonna get sorry i should have music play in the background maybe i'll add it in the post production i don't know we'll see wow okay they're just being brutal right now they're like we know you're trying to get your legendary so we're just gonna make you wait for it wow come on 20 something 26 and no legendary would be very disappointing they're making me hit a pity that's for sure all right there we go Oh my god, that's my third Yurion. I guess I should have started inspiring him. He'd be pretty badass by now. I actually really love Yurion. I'm actually using him pretty highly. All right, we got two more. So they I think that was a pity hit. Let's hit the one here and then come back out and see what our bonus legendary is going to be. They just love to give me Yurion. So if you guys didn't already catch my last summoning video, I actually pulled on one of these banners, but the one for Premsa, because I really want her. The pregnant chick, the creepy pregnant chick, as we all call her. Um, She just is so cool, and I love her kit. She sounds busted, and I know she's really good. But yeah, 79 out of 80. Who is it going to be? Let's see who our bonus Lego is. Oh, wait, we're going to have to click this, and then we hit for the bonus Lego. Hey, but we got an epic along the way. Oh, she's new. Irma is new for me as well. I love it. I love it. I love it. Control immunity and damage reduction with allies within range. So I don't know that I'd use her in many teams, though. Like, this is cool, especially for, like, Arena, if you're going against really annoying control um, debuff people. But this is really only going to help other melee damage dealers that are around her. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of Irma. This can be pretty cool to recharge your ultimate energy, but damage reduction is good, but again, only melee. So this is a very niche character if your team is very melee damage focused. All right, so this is what happens when we hit the 80 out of 80. Click to summon. So who is my bonus going to be? <laughs> who is my bonus hero going to be? No more Yurion, please. Hey, Alton. Okay. I have no rally heroes, so... I mean, I have a few epics and a couple rares, of course, but this is my first legendary rally hero. When a rally ally attempts to cast a skill that consumes rally, those rally have a 50% bonus chance to gain... That's so good, right. Damage bonus for 10 seconds. Those without rally have a chance to gain it. So good. Whenever so many heroes rely on if you have rally, then their ultimate is better. Like Filto. Oh my gosh. It's so fun watching Odd One's Filto when we are doing the Chaos Risk. That guy is busted. He needs an Alton to go with his Filto. That's to make sure Filto always has rally. I mean, 50% chance, though. Okay, attempt. Fires three orbs at random enemies. Full board coverage. I like that. If the hero has rally, it consumes it and increases the orbs to five. Unleashes a domain for 10 seconds, increasing the hero's passive trigger up to 100%. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is really cool. It's going to do some extra damage, but also enable the whole team that's under Rally, no matter where they are on the board, to do damage. He sounds like a really great Rally partner in crime, and he gives crit damage to everybody. So, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, I feel like Odd One needs him for his Filto, or I need a Filto now to go with him. That would be great. Can I have a Filto now? <laughs> okay, that's really cool. I really like that. I'm happy because I really needed, literally, I know this sounds silly, but a big part of what my account needed was the ability to, um, well, level up what I already have for these. 
And now I have to decide again, do I keep crunching all my Yurion and getting more legendary artifacts, or do I actually start maximizing my Yurion? I don't know. This is not, this is not my first bonus. I've, I've literally gotten three of him. Actually, no, I've gotten four. I've gotten, I could have awakened three Yurion right now. So last season I got two Yurion, so I'd have one. And this season I've got two, so I've had up to three of him. The heal is nice on the second one. When taking damage equal to 20%, the hero's max HP has a chance of dispelling a debuff on him. I mean, these definitely are great for his survivability. But I think he's fine as a tank without this. I think I'm going to buy a legendary artifact. Now I've just got to decide what that's going to be. Um, because I have some options here. Because I was debating about buying um, the poison dart stuff. But then this poison explosion can be more bad than good sometimes. This one seems really strong for poison heroes, and I do have my dupe Durango that I could use, and I could save my dupe Yurion in case I get a dupe Flora to go for Flora's exclusive, which is really what I want the most. But you have to get a dupe Flora first. So I always want to have one on deck in case I do get a dupe Flora. But I have that debate. Let me know in the comments below. Have you guys experimented with either one of the poison ones? I feel like if you're going to go in something like a Vortex or which I wouldn't need to because I have my wild team. But any maybe some PvE, like do I really want Poison Explosion or do I want stuff that's going to help the stacks be better? It deals damage, edge stack debuff brands, extra damage. This sounds like it's better for Vortex, which I'm not going to need a Poison team for because wild is kind of king there right now. But this seems like it might be better for other PvE where you just want to explode poisons and do big damage in the moment. This might be something I get if I ever wanted to do that. But I kind of think I might just play around with some other stuff. Or even, I love this. This is so clever. So like if you have no elemental synergy on your team at all. If you have one of, ev like every, five different elements. Right? Five out of six people. A possible all different you have a four percent damage bonus right to begin with and then it's up to 20 percent so it's oh wait they changed this they nerfed this this used to be crazy when there's five percent up to five elements in the team the wearer gains an extra 20 percent oh no for every hero on the team okay okay five so five, yeah, times four is 20 plus 20. It was, all right, it's 40%. So you can have up to 40% bonus damage for the one strong crazy nuker that you know doesn't need a team around it. Just like, you could put this on like, even just like a Voresh that is um, full board damage dealing. And just have him nuke, like, put your best damage gear on your Boresh and make him just smash and then have other people in the team more be enabling and control and annoying and less about doing damage and let that one person just destroy. I love this. I might get that. This is something I've really been debating about and want to experiment with. I think that's more of a PvP arena thing, which I hate arena, so I don't know. But yeah, longer video, guys. I am very happy with my summons, even though I didn't get much. Um, at least I got a new legendary, and I got the best, one of the best epics I could possibly ask for um, with Vikuk here. So that's even more exciting than my legendary, because I don't have a rally team to build with Alton right now. So, all right, that's all, guys. Come hang out with me later live on Twitch. We have giveaways to do. Sort of. We have a giveaway going on that I'll show you guys how to enter for Heliolite Die. And of course, stay tuned for the future giveaways for real, which I'll have just as a content creator, which I'll get from Twitch, uh, which will be on Twitch more than likely too. And maybe on YouTube. We'll see. But all right. I'm blabbering. I'll see you later.